Students, this question is just in the year 2009. Which of the following equations of motion represents simple harmonic motion? Acceleration is equal to minus k x plus a. Acceleration is equal to k x plus a. Acceleration is equal to k x. Acceleration is equal to minus k x. Here, a and k are constants. Okay, students. Then, we know. What is the definition of simple harmonic motion, student? Any motion which can be represented, which equation of motion can be represented in terms of a sine function or a cosine function, then the motion will be called simple harmonic motion. We know that. So there y is equal to a sine omega t. Okay, student. In this way, uh, the equation of motion of a simple harmonic motion is written, or this may be written as phi omega t plus phi, this may can be written and if the uh, phi angle is 0, suppose this can be written as omega t, a sin omega t, where y is the displacement from the mid position, a is the amplitude, omega is the angular frequency is equal to twice phi by t, where t is the time period of oscillation students. Then what will be the velocity? Velocity will be equal to time derivative of the displacement vector di by dt at the position vector. So we know student this is a omega cos omega t and acceleration is dv by dt the time rate of change of velocity or this may be also written this minus d square by d square by dt square so dt square student d square y by dt square or this is dv by dt so let us time differentiate to uh, this uh, a omega cos omega t so student this becomes minus a omega square sine omega t so student this can be written as minus omega square a sine omega t and what is a sine omega t that is nothing but the displacement vector or the position vector student that is so we may write here y for a sine omega t so student acceleration for a simple harmonic motion is always written as a is equal to minus omega square y and this means the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement or if we multiply m here that is force is directly proportional to the uh, displacement and you see student there is a minus sign here this minus sign implies that the motion is always directed towards a particular point that is called equilibrium position or the mean position as so this force which always try to take the particle exiting the session to its mean position is called the restoring force student this is most important so in this way we may write this acceleration is in the form of minus k we may write omega square as some constant ky or student uh, if the particle executes uh, as, as in the x direction, this can also be equivalently written as uh, the minus kx, which is given here a is equal to minus x. So the option D will be correct, students, for this question.